And we are live, Delise. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, Alex. Thank you. Yeah, all good. Good to hear it, guys. By fur well, further ado, I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent here. All them wonderful paintings in the background, Delise. She painted them. <laughs> she painted them. Isn't that? <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I taught her that. <laughs> but um, can we just stop for a moment and credit you, Delise? Honest to God, it is. <laughs> It is such a pleasure to speak to you properly over Zoom. It really is. It really is. And thank you so much for taking the time to come on and sharing your story. And of course, most importantly, inspiring other people who perhaps have struggled or are struggling right now. So first of all, if you could let us know a little bit about what's been going on before we met and what you were struggling with, Denise. Sure. I, I, I think probably for about the last five-ish years or so, um, probably actually a little bit longer than that, probably hit 40 and really struggled to kind of lose some weight. And um, as with many others, I'm sure, have, have kind of been uh, pulled into other other diets and other diet plans and fads and different things. And I, I think I got completely confused in the end as to what I could eat and what I couldn't and what was good food, bad food, or what was fuel, what wasn't, what was the best way to go around things. And I, I spent much of my time wondering whether an avocado was a good thing or a bad thing. And I know Alex, you will say they are a bad thing, but <laughs> you don't like them. Um, but Absolutely. yeah, I, I, I was completely confused by what food is okay and what food isn't. And, uh, and I think my body was equally confused. So have spent quite a long time just not not knowing which food plan to, to, to um, follow. I I then um, had a knee operation last year that took me to 12 weeks on crutches and became really disconnected with my body, um, not just for the fact of being on crutches, but just putting on so much weight. Um, and after four weeks after um, coming out of off of crutches, I then had a car accident. Um, yeah, it was a doom year and um, ended up with a, ma a major hand operation and another sort of period of time in plaster and, and recovering. So I spent most of 2019 just feeling really detached from my body and not kind of uh, able to kind of coordinate particularly very well and feeling in control of it. And I think that just escalated into lots of different feelings of out of control and which bit do I pick on now or don't I do I get fit and go to the gym or do I eat or do I not and so when when I saw an advert come up by chance on Facebook from you earlier this year in 2020 I just thought why not I've tried many other things why not why is this guy going to be any different gee whiz how different it's been and how amazing it's been so well well look remember it's about you not me okay so first of all what had you tried in the past that didn't work <laughs> um, I've done the SW, I've done the WW, I've done the um, Lighter Life packets, foods, um, many, many other things. I've done a, a, a fitness uh, instructor at the gym. Um, yeah, and just got confused, really, really confused by what, what can I, can't I eat? So um, I, th I think, as I say, many other people have done it through the times. So and we, we became regulars at Slimming World. <laughs> it's the same old crew coming back because you just failed all the time time um, and I'd lose my first 10 pounds and then I'd, I'd not be able to lose anything after that so um, yeah it's 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 been a different for me a more holistic program now and uh, that really suits my mentality and my person um, it's not just about one thing it needs to be about everything for me to fully engage with it and I do like to immerse myself in stuff so this is this works for me big time and as you say Alex it is my sweat on my <laughs> It is. Oh, I need a new line. I, um, I, I can increase my wash load by the amount of sweat I have now. So Absolutely. And it's your work. You've done this. You've done all of it. You've done every last bit of it. And look, well, why, why did you feel we could help? I think for me, it, it made sense. So looking at the program after the first initial call with you, so look at, looking on your website, looking at the first initial call, I have to say I did think <laughs> this guy's a con. There's no <laughs> way, there's no way this can be true. And, and I did, I, you know, I was hesitant as I know many others have been as well. Um, 
but it just felt like it was all of the things where I'd pre previously done the fitness, but I'd not done the food or I'd done the kind of mindset without the food or I'd, I'd always been wrongly aligned. And for me, uh, your program just brings it all together and makes it make sense. So when I'm feeling low, it's a kind of why am I feeling low? And I'm able to unpack some of that and not just turn to the food and find other alternatives that are a better option for me. So, yeah. When you mentioned about feeling low, Delise, would you mind just elaborate a little bit on how you felt? Uh, well, as I say, the, the disconnection with my body last year really messed with my head. Um, and uh, a woman of a certain age started the old HRT and premenopausal, all of those things. And it, it, it really, I, I don't know, it just felt out of control. I didn't like what I was seeing in the mirror. Very rarely looked in the mirror. Definitely only ever head up, never body down. Now I proudly stand in front of a mirror. Um, again, another small thing, but a lot of you I'm sure out there will, will totally know where I'm going with that one. You just pass on by and you definitely don't go shopping for clothes and look in mirrors. Um, and all of that stuff, I, I just feel different about it now. I feel like I can. Um, and... I think the program has guided me through that. And, and, and I mean, some low days were packets of biscuits and um, packets of crisp consumed low days, you know, not really caring what went in my mouth, didn't care about the taste of stuff that went in my mouth because I felt I didn't deserve to feel any different. Um, and that's what I mean by low days and really feeling that I didn't deserve it. Um, and it was actually after the very first conversation I had with you, Alex, it was about the fact of maybe I do deserve it and maybe I can give this a go. And if other stories can and other people can, then why can't I? Um, and it was really nice to kind of think that that maybe I could. And I have. I'm 14 weeks into this now and I'm a lot less than I was. <laughs> 23 pound down. A little yeah. gain over Christmas. A little gain over Christmas. I'm allowing myself a little gain over Christmas. It would have been a large gain last year and the years before. Um, but, you know, a pound is nothing. So, um, yeah, it, it's all about context and, and living. My God. And what you said there was really interesting. You mentioned about justifying putting yourself first, justifying doing something for yourself and that you deserve it. And as I'm sure you've heard me say loads of times, oftentimes a lot of people struggle with that. And I don't know what it is here in the UK or in Ireland for a fact. We just don't tend to always put ourselves first. But well, what made you what made you feel that now was the time to put yourself first? What allowed you to break that pattern of your thinking? What allowed you to step out of your comfort zone and do something for you, Delise? I think it was the 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 fact that I continued to wear just the same pair of jeans. <laughs> I have a huge wardrobe. I have many pairs of shoes. I don't think I've disclosed that previously. And the reason that I, I'm by many pairs of shoes, I'm talking 80 plus pairs of shoes, okay, so many pairs of shoes. And the only reason I had shoes previously was because my size of foot never changed. My wardrobe, I have every size and everything because that's forever changing. So I went to shoes for that bit. That's an aside, sorry, I've, I've gone aside there. Um, but, but I felt that I could because I was going to wear that same pair of jeans again because they were the only pair that fitted. Yet the three quarters of the other part of the wardrobe fitted years ago and I continue to not want to invest in me um, and I just kind of thought for for one of my my reasons why was for my children I really wanted to be a really good role model to them uh, and we we've had some family bereavements in the last couple of years and and for them I wanted to make sure that I was around for them long long term as a parent and as a person for them so they were a massive um, kind of uh, uh, push for me but at the same point um, I just wanted to make sure that this is my time now. I'm 50 in 18 months time and I didn't want to be fat and 50. I wanted to be fit and 50 and I want to yes. be out and loving it and doing it. So Amazing. And look, uh, well, obviously I, I can see and I know you pretty well now, so I know what you've achieved, but what about, it, what about everything else? You've lost 23 pounds, nuts, absolutely incredible. But what else have you learned? What have you learned now that you didn't have 14 weeks ago? <laughs> uh, well, I, I think I, I will credit this all the way along here. This, this for me has been a weight loss program, but it's been bigger than that. 
Um, and I am somebody uh, that's that's really struggled with self-esteem and self-confidence over the years. And for people that know me, they won't believe that because I've I've perfected the swan beautifully. Um, and I'm all pristine up here, but I am a bloody duck underneath and I am fighting underneath it all because I've just learned that I have to. That, that was my coping mechanism for kind of being it. And I, I just wanted to just... I don't know, I, I just felt like I, I needed to. I needed to just sort me out. I, I couldn't keep going as I was going. I, it, it wasn't going to work for me anymore. And I needed to just invest in me um, and, and make sure that I could. So one of the things um, that that's made a huge difference for me is, is I now stick up for myself at work. Um, and, and I'm a manager and I'm a responsible for a team of people, but I really struggled with actually being positive in work um, and saying no and kind of pushing people back slightly and just kind of being realistic, which would mean I would work hours and hours. Um, and my family, if they, were laugh, if they were listening in now, they would be laughing, saying, but mum, you still work hours and hours. And um, I do, but I now do it in I'm in control of it. And I feel that I can say no to things that I did, uh, I don't want to do, or, or it's just squeezed out of me. Um, and that for me has been massive. I really want to do that um, and expand on it. I don't want to be in the job where where I am now. I hope none of my colleagues are watching. <laughs> I don't want to. In, in a year's time, I want to be doing something different. Um, through through this whole process in this last year, my husband's been made redundant as well. So um, we, we've, we've really been through it in lots of different ways. And I just feel really steady. I feel calm and steady that things will work out. Um, and I know just a year ago, I wouldn't have felt like that at all. I felt really disconnected with myself physically as well as mentally and just not able to cope really struggled with anxiety um and as I say I, I know I'd perfected the swan but my god I was kicking underneath and really in a turmoil um underneath most of the time so it's nice to feel slightly calmer about things oh Delise you're just oh there's an air of just confidence around you the way you're speaking you're so assertive and and you know <laughs> Oh, well, I'll share this if you don't mind, but a few moments ago, you're nervous about doing this and look at you now. You just really <laughs> feel like you've come into your own. You're just, honestly, you, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless for, for how far you've come, for how far you've come. And look, what makes you feel these changes that you've made in your life are sustainable? Uh because it's all been done with knowledge. So every piece of my change and my change of routine and the things that I've, I've learned over the last sort of 12, 14 weeks or so, it, it's been explained to me. Um, and I've had choice in that and I've had inform, informed choice in that as well. It's not just been done to me to follow a plan. It's actually been done with me. And I've had the support of, of, of Alex, yourself and, and the rest of your team to make those choices. And if it's not been right, I've, I've asked for some more clarity or kind of ask, asking in terms of kind of please change that exercise because <laughs> I definitely know I can't do that one. Um, you know, well, all of those bits have been... Uh, with me in mind and and I felt like the most important bit of this plan and I know that's what you want me to feel like and I'm not just saying that now but I have felt like this is the most important bit um, and I've just felt that everything that's that's been put in front of me has, has made me realize that I can do it there's nothing too big too soon it's been lovely bite-sized it's been explained the different elements of support have really suited me. I'm a, I'm a teacher, so I know that kind of need for kinesthetic and I know the need for reading and I know the need for the audio. And the, I, I know all of those bits and every part of this program has got a slice of it for everybody. And I think most people would get a, 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 an awful lot out of it. And I'm not just saying that, Alex. I, I really mean that. I really do. Uh, you're, you're too good. But look, what would you say to someone, Delise? Who, what would you say to inspire someone who's on the fence about making a positive change in their lives? What would you say to inspire someone who right now is where you were? You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. You are totally worth investing in. Um, because I found that really hard to concentrate on me and invest on me. And one of my calls with, with Fra was around the fact of, but if you don't invest in you, nobody's going to invest in you. 
and how are you going to be there for others if you haven't invested that time in you and that for me really really rang a few few bells back to say but if I don't put the effort in then uh, who is you know so if I if I turn up I want to be the best that I am for everybody knowing that I've invested in me first um, and I just kind of if, if, if you're out there and you're wobb wobbling, it's not a con, it is real. And all of those people that you see on those things, they are real people and you get to meet them and chat with them and message them. And it's it's nice, that element of support. Alex and the team are wonderful and the program is, is really kind of really thought out, but also that inner circle support is, is either reaching out to other people who feel exactly the same as you do now um, and have been on that journey. I hate the word journey, but I ha have been on that kind of street of where you are um, and felt exactly how you are now. And, and you're worth it. Invest in yourself. Do it. It's, you've got nothing to lose and, and so much to gain. And Elise, you mentioned about, well, there's something you said there that really got to me. Is you said, how can I give more to other people if I don't do something for myself? So let's speak about that. Like who, who's noticed? Who has noticed the change in you? Uh, def definitely my kids, or especially my daughter. My son is, is not here. And, and like many people this year, I've not seen many people because we've not been out. This, this little That's space true. here. And I have to say, they are painting by numbers pictures, okay? So they're, uh, they're, not, they're just not my, <laughs> my freebies. Paint it, adult painted by numbers, definitely worth it for mindful. Blindfolded though when she did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a, a wonderful mindful activity. It really has been. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? Um, affected. You mentioned it's your been affected. So, so my husband and our relationship together. Um, you know that that whole kind of just us being together. We've been we've been thrown together twenty four seven since March. Um, but we've had one moment of arguing during that time and that was crazy. But because we just feel better now, we're better pairing than we have been for a long, long time and in every manner, in every way. I hope you all understand what I mean by that. Um, uh, my kids, my daughter, um, I've socially distanced walked with my daughter over the last few months and it's been lovely just for us to have some time together. Um, and she knows like, mum, that coat's too big come on get another pair of trousers on they're too big um you know that that kind of confidence work colleagues uh although it's been via a screen and zoom it's just like a, is everything all right with you everything going on okay because i think they can see that i'm just being feeling a little bit more confident again um so it's it's just nice it's nice to feel back in control i'm not a control freak but back in control of you know me my food my thoughts my drinking and, and making informed choices about my future it's good oh, delise honestly like if that doesn't inspire people, I don't know what will inspire people because what you've achieved, considering everything that you've been through is just nothing short of phenomenal. And you're just oozing confidence and assertiveness. And I love hearing how it's spilling over in your life. And I just want to thank you for having the courage to come on and share your story, to be able to do that and share what you've achieved, what you've yeah. achieved. And well, I'll speak to you on Wednesday in our Zoom, but... <laughs> Honestly, God, can we just say, Delise got eight minutes notice, by the way, for this live video. Eight minutes notice. I was chatting to her, by the way, do you fancy coming on and sharing your story? And like that, she snapped the opportunity up, okay? Literally, no hesitation. You are the personification of courage. You're a breath of fresh air. Thank you so much for coming on. And I'll speak to you tomorrow at seven. And um, Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you all. You know, just, just, be, be brave. Go for it. Be brave. And um, you have nothing to lose and lots and lots to gain. If anybody wants to ask me anything, message me. I'm, I'm happy to help you with anything. Thank you. You're a star. Good night, Delise. Thank you so Take much. Care. See you soon. Bye, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.